So who got your number one again? Tyler the Creator. Oh yeah, of course. On, um, Igor. Igor. Great album. Like I've said before, I'm not going to go on this one too much because I did review it already. But definitely the best album of the year. Potentially could have been tied first last year too with uh, Kids See Ghosts on Kids See Ghosts. Um, I think that this album is just a perfect um, look into Tyler Creator's mind. He he keeps this so tight knit. He's talking about this same um, person. It's believed to be a man throughout this whole album, um, and it's just such a a great look into um, like a spiraling madness of someone that's in love with someone that they can no longer have. The start of the album sort of talks about uh, him being with this person and that. He's with them 60-40 time because someone's with them another portion of the time because he's sort of cheating on Tyler. or They're not cheating, but they're not exclusive. Yeah. Where he can be with these two people at once. And one's a girl and one's Tyler. So we assume that this is a man um, because they talk about uh, taking off your mask, which means like you're hiding behind, yeah. like sort of either being straight or you're just sort of not telling anyone that you're um, bisexual. Yeah. And that you're you're behind this mask and that it's not Halloween anymore. You can take your mask off is what Tyler says. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's just a really great album. And I think Frank Ocean's really good at this, at just evoking emotion and sort of uh, portraying it out there, um, projecting it rather out there for everyone to just sort of latch onto. And when he talks about um, n- no longer being in love with this person because of all the pain that he's been through and that he c- he still wants to be friends with this person and how before he was head over heels in love and now he just is almost numb, like he can't feel any pain. And mm. everyone can sort of relate to this uh, if you've ever been in a relationship that's gone wrong, that like how obsessed he was with, with this person and how... Yeah. Uh, he would do anything for this person and when they were gone, do anything to get them back. And he just wants someone to be with and that he's just got this unhealthy obsession and attachment to this one person. And he knows that it's unhealthy and obsessive, but he can't let go. And that's a really great story to be told throughout a whole full-length album. It's like 45 minutes or whatever it is. Great album, 10 out of 10 for me. Favorite songs on there are Earthquake, um, new Magic Wand and the one with Kanye West which is called Puppet uh, three really great um, songs but the whole album is a 10 out of 10 there's not a song I would take off all of them interlink with each other it's none of this just random songs throughout which I think a lot of albums are these days no one really consistently not even the greats can consistently keep mm. one theme throughout and Tyler did it so well here so Congratulations. Thank you, Tyler. Your album, Igor, is my number one for the year. I'm looking forward to see what you can do next year. If you release anything, Flower Boy was 2017. This was 2019. Maybe we're going to have an off year from you, but we'll see what happens.